I'm Kathy, and something that I have been asked to do a bit is tell you some of my story. And <laughs> I'm sure you got a little worried when you saw this book and you're thinking she's going to tell her story. I don't have all night. Um, this book is a glimpse of my story. So I think that one thing tells us that pain patients have a story and sometimes that story, let me back up, all the time, that story is not a good story. It is filled with heartache, heartbreak, words that we can't explain and it does affect our family. On March 12th, around 3.15 in the afternoon, in 2001, which as of this date, my 20 years is here, I became a completely different person. I was a person who was a triple A personality. I, I was a list maker and everything was just that, 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 that. Yet there was fun and laughter and, and we always had a full house. We always had people at our table. We had a fun life. So you can be a, a triple A personality and actually have fun. <laughs> so on that day, I became a type Z personality is what I call it. I was on one of our biggest and worst freeways in around the fourth largest city in the USA. Thankfully, I was taught how to drive in this kind of atmosphere, and it's not a big deal. Um, I'm going along like everyone else, 60 miles an hour. Um, a couple car links between each other because it's three in the afternoon. And little did I know that there was a lot going on behind me. There was a 16-year-old during spring break and he was having a great time. He was going at least 100. Some say their speedometer showed 110 and they could not keep up. It was very strange because you're driving and it was about a 30 minute drive and I listened to books on tape. And you're, you know, so you're kind of listening and you're watching and I'm the type that do what I was taught. And I check my rear view mirror, you know, quite frequently, a lot. And that's how quick it's like that. And before you can check it again, I was hit in the back. So <laughs> you're not expecting to be rear ended going 60 miles an hour. Um, I quickly got the car under control and to my shock and horror, he oversteered and came back and hit the passenger back door and I am losing the control again and I finally get it back and I actually looked over and we looked at each other as he came over and hit the passenger front door. He had no clue how to get under control. He scooted up, <laughs> that lovely sound, popped my tire, and I went across the freeway. All right, now this Oh, I don't know. How long do accidents like this last? <laughs> um, seconds. Accidents 
like this, and, and there's many of you who can understand this, are five hours long. You have very logical, in, in my case, conversations in your head. I'm going this way, cars are going this way, 60 miles an hour. Every lane I passed, they said it was just like a miracle. Of course it was. Uh, there wasn't a car. So my, my thought was, this is how I will die. I'm 40, 42. This is how I will die. And my second thought was, well, at least I won't suffer. Because whoever hits me is going to hit me right here and lights out. And you know, it's kind of that, uh, I know I won't know it, but it's gonna happen any second. And I'm coming up to the part of the freeway that's got the uh, barriers so that you don't get on the other side. It's concrete. My car turns around and I'm going back. All right, I've made it one way. Do I think I'm gonna get it the other way? So then I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I need an 18 wheeler because they're gonna have to get to me because I don't wanna be a vegetable. Um, I don't wanna linger. This is it, cut and dry, lights out, like I said, cut and dry. I ended up in the grassy area of the freeway without being hit again, besides him. The shock was quite shocking. <laughs> and the car just kind of stopped. And finally, I, I opened my car door to get out. And people, of course, are rushing over. I, um, I was burning from head to about waist. The freeway was shut down. The side road was shut down. People were missing their airline flights. People were missing meetings. I realized that. I don't complain one bit when I am in traffic like that, especially an accident. So I got in and now I'm really trying to act normal. Uh, we met my husband. They dropped my car off. On the way home, my husband asked me what I wanted to do, and I said, I just, I just want to go home. I'm fine. The next morning, I got up. Um, I, my job at the hospital was everything but head injuries. <laughs> uh, I dealt in education. Now, head injuries were not part of that. We were a birthing hospital and women's hospital. I know women have TBI, but that's, that's different. I woke up that morning and went to call a doctor. He actually answered the phone because it was lunchtime. What I didn't tell him is I had been trying to dial his number for three or four hours but the numbers would not transfer from the page to my brain to the phone. And I still didn't think a lot about it, but I thought it was kind of strange. So he said, come now. <laughs> he was very good. He checked C1 and C2 because obviously he could tell C1 through C7 was very damaged. He pretty much already could tell by if those are damaged and what all, you know, he was <laughs> feeling that there was a head injury. So I'm head down and he mentions something and I said, I am fine and I will be done in two weeks. And he said, I was so glad you were head down because I was shocked. And this is when doctors do very well picking up on the patient's personality. Because if he would have said, you sit up here and let me tell you something, you are sick, you are gonna die, 
I don't know how much chance you've got. If I would have gotten that lecture, I would have been mad. So, while I had a two out of a 10 of living, I did not know that for many, many years, while there was a lot of injuries, didn't know that for a while, he knew how to treat my personality. So as I mentioned, there was brain injury, dystonia, torn muscles from head to waist, from the front and the back, chronic pain, fibromyalgia, RSD, or CRPS, sleep issues, restless legs, etc., seizures, TIAs, and at least nine strokes that were documented 